The primary purpose of an engine cooling system is to keep temperatures under control. However, these systems are often challenged by the fact that they use mostly water as a base for coolants. Consequences of using a water-based coolant include low boiling points, excessive vapor, the corrosion of engine components, and the highly toxic nature of ethylene glycol-based coolants. Although we've come to expect that engines and cooling systems will eventually fail us, coolants offered by companies like Evans Cooling Systems are proving an ability to offset all these challenges. Engines need to last longer as do all the components of the engine cooling system while operating more efficiently and improving fuel economy. Our Evans waterless non-corrosive coolants will do that and lead to vehicles with failure-free lifetime cooling systems. Those lifetime cooling systems will ultimately save individuals, companies, fleets in the U.S. untold billions of dollars. Jack Evans is the inventor of Evans waterless engine coolant. What's unique about his coolant is that it's the only kind to not contain any water allowing it to cool engines no matter how high the load without ever needing to be replaced. According to industry sources, 40% of engine maintenance problems are due to cooling system failures. That's because the boiling point of water serves as the point of failure to those systems. Water vapor clings to the surface of the engine and continues to build, forming an insulating barrier, and as temperatures continue to rise, that vapor barrier causes detonation within the cylinder. Evans wireless coolants have boiling points much higher than conventional coolants and therefore never accumulate vapor pockets which cause overheating. The coolant can accommodate more severe temperature as the boiling point is 170 degrees higher than the operating temperature of the engine. Evans non-aqueous coolants do completely eliminate all the problems that normally occur with water-based coolants. Evans coolants operate at a lower, safer pressure, avoid corrosion, eliminate overheating, and keep metal temperatures under control. As opposed to water-based coolants that have to be changed periodically, Evans coolants last forever, never requiring a change, chemical testing, nor adjustment of anti-corrosion additives. This not only saves on cost to replace coolant, pumps, radiators, and hoses, it also reduces the disposal of coolant as a hazardous waste. Furthermore, because Evans coolant is essentially non-toxic, its use could potentially eliminate the release of deadly poison responsible for the deaths of hundreds of people as well as tens of thousands of animals and pets. Increases in federal emission standards for vehicles challenge the automotive industry to lower fuel consumption and the disposal of fluids. Evans coolants last the life of the engine, eliminating the need for periodic disposal. It also reduces emissions by decreasing fuel use. Our coolants could drop the levels of CO2 and reduce emissions of diesel trucks by as much as 8 to 9 percent. Even though the job of a coolant is, of course, to cool the engine, Evans Coolant is capable of improving fuel economy as well. As great as the benefits of Evans Coolants are, they're not exclusive to cars and trucks. The same benefits come in any form of internal combustion engine, whether it be locomotives, airplanes, or forklifts, or any high heat producing equipment such as lasers and CAT scanners. Evans Cooling Systems is always looking to the future to improve the technology of thermal heat transfer fluids, the cooling industry, and our product line of unique coolants and cooling products. Our research, development, and patenting of coolant improvements, for example, increasing heat transfer by suspending nanoparticles in coolants is ongoing, and we believe the possibilities are endless. Welcome to the T&E Service Center here in Kansas City, one of our most recent conversion centers for Evans Cooling Systems. My name is Mike Torvell. I'm the marketing director for Evans Cooling Systems, and with me here is Kevin Rutherford. How are you doing today, Kevin? Good. Great to be here. Good. Thanks for coming. Kevin is a small fleet owner and radio host of Trucking Business and Beyond on the Road Dog Channel. Um, we're here to convert Kevin's 2005 Freightliner with a Mercedes engine, and Kevin's got a couple of miles on his truck. I think he's got 1.1 million miles exactly. so far and counting. And Kevin's going to talk a little bit about his experience uh, before we begin the conversion. Kevin? Thanks, Mike. You know, this started a couple of years ago. I, I was having some coolant-related problems with my trucks. And I realized that after owning trucks for 20-some years and really thinking that I knew trucks and engines and I would worked on them for years, I knew almost nothing about cooling. I knew when you needed some, you poured some in. But I, I started doing some research, and there's red coolants and green coolants and blue and pink and 
extended life and long life and standard life. And I, I found out that even the shops, uh, one survey over 50% of the shops didn't know which coolant should go in which engine. But the more I researched, the more I found out that all of the coolants were really glycol and water, and then the additive packages were what made the difference. Along the way, while I was researching this, I came across this waterless coolant, which you obviously know now as Evans, and um, I was so intrigued by the fact that there was no water in this, and I started reading the benefits of not having water in the coolant, and I really wanted to try it. So we contacted Evans, and we decided to convert two of our trucks after I looked at the benefits and we immediately saw fuel mileage increases. We were able to run our trucks hotter because the coolant handles it so much better. So we saw three and four tenths of a mile per gallon increase, which is just a huge fuel savings for us. But there's so many other benefits, a lifetime coolant, there's no corrosion. We uh, minimize or literally reduce cavitation problems and boil overs. So we were extremely happy with both of our conversions. We're here now to convert our third truck and we're sure we'll see the same results. Well, that sounds good, Kevin. Where do you say we get started? Let's do it. Okay. Hi, I'm Chris Jones with Professional Lubricant Supply. I'm here with Chris with T&E Service and we've got Kevin Rutherford's truck all cooled off ready to start on this Evans coolant conversion. The following is not a training video for installing Evans heavy duty coolant. Evans recommends professional installation at a certified install shop. Our latest listing of certified install shops are available at evanscooling.com. Converting to Evans coolant begins with completely draining the system. After opening the radiator drain valve, the thermostats are removed to blow coolant out of the engine block and cooling system hoses. The heater core and auxiliary cooling circuits are also blown out. Evans designed specialty tools to aid in the process and recommends using a blower for the most complete conversion. Once the old coolant is blown out, a small amount of Evans coolant is added and blown out to help remove any residual water-based coolant. After reconnecting all hoses and components, the engine is ready to be filled with Evans heavy-duty coolant. After idling the engine, the water content is tested using a refractometer. A successful conversion will have 3% water or less. Your truck's cooling system is now protected for the life of the engine from corrosion, electrolysis, and high pressure. Evans Coolant also gives you the option to safely raise the operating temperature to increase fuel economy. Fuel economy gains are achieved by installing an Evans high temperature thermostat with a 205 degree Fahrenheit opening temperature and a coolant temperature sensor resistor pack. The resistor pack raises the fan on temperature without causing engine derating issues and reduces the runtime. Increasing operating temperature and lowering fan operation results in 3 to 9% improvements in fuel economy. You're all set. Thanks, Chris. I really appreciate you and the guys here at T&E doing this conversion for me. You know, I've converted three trucks now with this one, but the first two I had drivers in the truck, so I could only monitor what was going on. This is the truck that I drive personally. We pull our show trailer with it, so I'm really looking forward to seeing how it performs. Thanks again. Joe Umstead, an independent driver, was having trouble with his coolant. I had silicon dropout, which clogs the radiator tubes. And it's costly to, you know, new radiators and oil coolers. After reading an article in a trucking magazine discussing the concept of non-aqueous coolant, he contacted Evans, and he liked what he heard. Made the decision I was going to try it. To make the changes to use Evans coolant, raise the thermostats to 212 degrees, temperature sender for the clutch fan. At high temperatures, you get a bubble on the cylinder line. When the bubble changes back to a liquid, it releases a lot of energy and pits the metal. Overheated engines is the number one cause of engine failure. And where Evans, the boiling point's over 300, you don't have to address that boiling point, you don't get there. Now I just use full power and I still watch the gauges, but I have no problem. It benefits anybody that uses it. The physics are the same, whether you're a one truck operation or a thousand truck operation. And we 
Evans colon, you put it in and use it. Fan draws 75 horsepower. If the fan's turned off, you don't have to burn as much fuel. Which increases fuel mileage. It's just a, an, another benefit of the cooling. I have talked to Evans over the years, telling them how it's performing. It uh, performs as advertised and addressed all my cooling problems. My name's Joe, and this is my story.